Well, welcome back to Buckland Junction. I've gone back to wiring today after the yesterday's disappointment with that HST125. Yeah, that upset me a little bit after all the work I put in. Today I'm putting in my second high frequency track clean, cleaner into the back of the uh, control panel. Um, well, I'll show you it when it's finished. I'm trying to get the main line running so I might as well have the track cleaner in and ready. There's the other one there, can you see it? And that's wired in, that's cool. With its uh, little lights going up to above the above the ammeters, one there, one there, and these two will go one and two. So let's see how we get on, see how neat we can make it. Well, as you can see, we're getting there. It's not for the faint-hearted. This um, the, the wiring of a Gauge Master um, high-frequency track cleaner. There's six or eight wires. No, hang on. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten wires. Trying to keep it all neat is hard to do. Here's going out a few thanks now to uh, John, who's named me Captain Scratch. Thanks, John. Uh, to Captain, this is another Captain, Captain Spatula for the solder, but I've nearly used it all, Captain. Um, as always, uh, a shout out for Mark at Main Train. Got to check that guy out. Um, I'm always thankful to Mattress, Mattress, and Woody Woody Woodwoods. Oh, Woody Woodwoods A is a trestle flyer. We all know about it, you'll have to find out, but he flies trestles in a certain manner. Um, more thanks coming up. Here comes another couple of shouts out, that's for Triss. You are right mate, you really are, look. Both hands free, able to chat and um, yeah, able to work along and chat at the same time. So that's Triss Double O'Neill, thanks for the... Uh, tip about the um, tripod another one is to Barry Davis for wow just for the uh, entertainment knowledge and just to being a good egg so it's Barry Davis Barry Davis model railways he's got a wonderful uh, uh, layout in his shed in his garden and boy he does he know how to make trains work nice and smoothly uh, Yes, yeah, so I'm trying to uh, get mine to work as nice as his. That's Barry Davis, Model Railways. Big shout out to him. Be back with some more in a moment. Here goes another shout out. That's for Jennifer Kirk and Zoe. Uh, they know me as PVA J Cloth Allen. Um, who else we got? John's Amazing Trains. For his, uh, his knowledge really of electrics and, uh, and running trains. Um, I see 82. I used to like watching him, but I don't know where he's gone. Uh, I like being part of this uh, modelling community. It's great fun. So onwards and upwards. I'll show you this when it's finished. Here comes a few more. That's Oscar. Oscar, I think his name's Paisley. Could have got it wrong, but Oscar with his uh, trying Hornby. Whoops. With his trying Hornby set up. That's excellent. Excellent layout. I like that. Um, who else am I going to mess with? I'm going to moan when I've put this... Uh... Oh yeah, Andy at Wargrade for uh, inspiration and feedback. That's great. Um, yeah, back in a minute. Yep, here goes another shout out to... Now, who was it? It was Alan and... Alan and Dave, I think for using the hot gun in the right places it is the tool for the job I think I've got it there we go branch line train on track no light train on track no light clear line light on clear line light on so looks like we're in business that's my second track cleaner 
are held in with just uh, electrical tape at the moment but double sided tape will be on order so clear line clear line line occupied line occupied brilliant stuff so uh, that's the uh, high frequency cleaners both of them in and working I will tidy that up get rid of the tape and put some double sided tape between them so they're sitting back out the way lovely job loco I've just taken a loco from the branch line to the uh, main line so I've taken it off the branch line oh line clear line clear locomotive online let me just take it off and see what happens here we go oh wow look at that on off on off what a great idea so they seem to be working fine great well i'm quite happy the way that went that's cool um i will be back to tie all these wires up when i finish but uh not quite yet because i might be putting some more wires in so i'll tidy that up later backing panel to go on the top bit so that's that for now let's uh let's shut that up and make it all nice and safe so i think i'll have a little running session to finish this video off what do you reckon yeah let's have a running session then so it's captain scratch or is it Alan in the loft? I don't know. Let's leave it to Alan in the loft. Let's put that down there. Look at the state of this place. I've got to start with a tidy up, but uh, train on track, train on track, line clear, line clear. Let's turn on some juice. There she goes, what a lovely machine. And we've got this one here. Come on then, off you go. Just put in a little extra weight today. I've put the um, the Southern Region Parcels van on the back. That is a wren. You can see it's a slightly different scale, but uh, yeah, all the same, very nice. Can you imagine this with all four lines running? Boy, it's going to be busy. Yes, nice one. Look at that. Fancy two on the top rails passing at different times as well. Oh, I'm loving this. We're going to get another surprise? Where is she? Yeah, I reckon so. Come on, up the incline. Get extra weight on today. Oh, a bit of wheel spinning. Slipping. Good girl. It's a noisy that 060.
Well, I'm going to call it a day now from Buckland Junction. It is just a short film. Um, tomorrow I'm back on the wiring. I could show you, but I don't want to bore you. So, uh, take care from Buckland Junction. More coming soon. Bye. Out and out. Yeah, this is a handsome wagon, isn't it? She's done about 150 laps of the loft. I'll tap that in my um, calculator and see what it is. It's about, uh, I reckon it's about 18 metres around the loft on this line anyway. So 18 by 150 metres. No, hang on, 50, <laughs> 150 by 18 metres. Yeah, what a lovely train. Anyway, take care. Bye-bye.